You're watching a Titan Medical Center production. What's up guys, we are here, it's Sunday, November 24th at Armature Works for the first annual turkey giveaway. Titan Medical Center, Skell, Flying Goat, our family, our Titan family right here, my son Peter and my wife Sharice, you know, we're big on giving back and we want to do something great for the community this year. I'm excited, are you excited to give some turkeys away to some people that need it? Yeah, yeah. absolutely. You know, Peter has been telling us for years that he's been wanting to do something like this and give back to the community and be able to do something for people that maybe are not as fortunate as us or might need some help having a really, really good Thanksgiving. So I'm really excited we finally were able to do our own um, Titan Turkey giveaway. Yeah. So it was really cool. The experience has been really cool. I'm excited for today. We're here, baby. 200 turkeys. the turkey giveaway, our first annual turkey giveaway. We got to partner with some amazing people. Waters, Publix, Jason Skeldon, Fly a Goat, Type Medical Center. And thank you to Armature Works for giving us this beautiful location. Yo, we got stuff in. Stuff in it and potatoes. We got potatoes, so we're, we're, we're lined we're up, man. So Proteins, carbs, you know, you got little good fats in that, in that turkey, yeah, so I think, uh, I think we're good. We just had a we just had a church come by and pick up thirty. Yeah. Uh, Sickles High School just came by and picked up what 25? 24, 25, you know, yeah, so something like that. Killing it, man. Got another thirty going right now. The Hillsborough County Sheriff's. I mean, this is going to be a great event at the end of this, and it's already a great event right now. I mean, yeah. just helping one family is is awesome. Have, having to help two hundred families is even better. Yeah. yeah. What's up guys, John here from Titan, and today I wanna to talk about one of our awesome therapies that you guys might remember from before. That's HCG, human chronic gonadotropin. And this therapy can be used for so many different ways and has so many different benefits. So let's just talk about a couple of them. One, this is great for fertility, or if you're trying to raise testosterone. HCG actually mimics the LH, the luteinizing hormone in the brain, kicking on the testes to start working. That means better sperm, better libido, more testosterone, better feeling, right? The other way they've used it for is weight loss in the past. Now this was on a calorie restricted diet of 500 calories. We would probably never recommend that for our patients, but underneath a thousand is probably more capable and easier to do as a patient. So if you guys want ATG, we have it back in stock for you guys. We want to make you guys aware of it. If you guys want this therapy, all you have to do is just call or text us 727-389-3220 and tell them you want to get started on your ATG therapy today. All right guys, so I'm about to go and show you how easy it is to get blood work through Titan Medical Center nationwide. So you don't have to come in Titan Medical Center to get it. You don't have to be in Tampa. If you're in Tampa or surrounding areas, this can work for you too as well. We're gonna go directly to the lab. I got my lab requisition right here, I got my ID, and they're gonna draw my labs right there on the spot. I'm gonna show you how easy it is so you guys can get it done too. Let's go. Let's head down to the lab so we can get our blood drawn. Right now, we're on the way to the lab to get my blood drawn so I can show you guys how easy it is. And I want to see what's going on too. I could have got it done in the office, but I wanted to show everybody, hey, listen, it's a really simple and easy process to do. Um, you know, all you have to do is get your slip and when you get your slip from Titan Medical Center, you go and 
you get your labs drawn and we get the results expedited. So I don't know anywhere we're gonna get your lab results within three to four business days. Um, especially with you not having to go into the doctor's office and pay a copay um, to go get it, to get the results, right? You literally get your results in three to four business days from Titan Medical Center. And the provider's already looked at it, so the medical assistant that calls you about it has maybe a couple little brief little tips or things that are going on on it before they schedule you for your consultation. And let's say you don't want a consultation. That's fine, you can just get your results. So we just wanna make sure that people understand that they can get this checked and how easy it is to get checked. And then we're not just talking about like hormones. You know, you're talking about your vital organs. I mean, for guys, PSA, that's a big one. Prostate cancer is on the rise. And I don't know how many patients that we've helped find out that they had early stages of prostate cancer and they would have never found out because their general practitioner never ran the tests. Now listen, at a certain age, you're supposed to get the finger check for your prostate and a blood test. And at that point, a lot of people don't get this done, don't know what age they need to get this done at. So it's really, really vital to get blood work done because this can tell you what's going on. And, and there's all different kinds of tests that you can test on top of our full in-depth panel. I mean, there's a lot of different things. Like today, I'm gonna cover not just our comprehensive metabolic panel, our complete blood cell count panel, PSA for my prostate, cholesterol, thyroid, free and total testosterone, estradiol, progesterone, IGF-1 levels, B12 levels. I'm also gonna test my COVID antibodies because you know it's still out there. I wanna see where they're at. Um, I'm gonna test my glutathione levels. And this is something that you can test because you can take glutathione. Glutathione is gonna help immensely in so many different areas, especially for immune function. But a lot of times people have depleted glutathione levels. And this is something you can test to look at to see where you're at. I'm also gonna test all of my amino acid levels. So we have amino acid testing that tests all the amino acids, the essential amino acids and the non-essential amino acids. So at that point, you can see what you're depleted on, what's not optimal and fix it. Or if you're taking some new supplementation and you wanna see how good it's working, you can test it and you can see exactly where you're at. Okay. We are here at the lab. I got my lab requisition here. I got my ID. So we're gonna go in and show you how easy it is to get your labs drawn nationwide through Titan Medical Center. Just got my blood drawn here at the lab. Real simple and easy to do. Now I'm just gonna sit back and wait for the results. Titan's gonna call me in three to four business days. I'm gonna get my results and then I can move forward with optimizing my health and making sure everything is okay on the inside. So let me get those results and I'm gonna share them with you when I get them. Hey guys, I am over at, uh, well, I guess this wouldn't be HQ Titan Medical. This would be Batman's cave, I guess you would say, his uh, palace. Um, and we've been shooting all today, tomorrow, and yesterday. But I'm excited for you guys to see this. The reason Mike O'Hearn, Mr. Universe, American Gladiator, doing movies now, father, husband, why did he choose Titan Medical? Because I wanted to stay on top in the sense of what my health and fitness and life was. But beyond that, I need to be able to tussle, you know, in 10, 15 years. I cannot be, I just don't think it is, the, the father on the couch. I want to be the father that's wrestling the kid. And again, keep in mind, the little things you might miss is that I am a late father with a very young son. So. You know, uh, most people would look at that and go, well, see, you should have had them earlier. I had them at the right time. This is perfect. I get to use Titan Medical, and I'm going to use them to benefit me and get my health to the most pinnacle level it can be so I can do that and tussle with my son and be a great husband in the bedroom, on, on the courts, uh, in the field, bringing home the bacon, all those kind of things that I wanted to do in life at this stage.
and it's all possible through optimizing my health with Titan Medical. So Titan Medical, Big John, thank you so much for um, allowing me to use your service and what your your knowledge, your 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 staff, your your uh, experts to make me the very best Titan that's ever been seen. Thank you. What up guys, John here from Titan Medical Center and today I wanna to answer a commonly asked question to me and the answer to you guys. This gets asked all the time. Should I take ATG or enclomiphene with my testosterone replacement therapy? And the answer is, if you wanna be optimal, if you want all the best without any of the negative side effects, then yes, that is your answer, 100%. And the reason is, so you guys know this, is when you take testosterone from an outside source, whether it's sublingual, it's a pellet, it's an injection, it's cream, whatever it is, your body, is one of the smartest machines out there and it picks up on this and your brain picks up on it and it says hey listen we already have an outside source of testosterone we have testosterone in the body there's a signal that goes from your brain down to your testicles and your testicles are what produces your testosterone and semen so at that point that signal gets shut down the brain tells it hey listen go on vacation we already got what we need don't worry about it what happens at that point now your testicles start shriveling they start shrinking we call it here like baby prunes right at that point, your semen production also gets shut down or lowered and testosterone naturally gets cut off. So when you're on testosterone replacement therapy, you don't want any of these negative side effects. And the most common response is, oh, I'm all right, I don't need any more kids. It's not just about fertility. We talk about aesthetics, we talk about tightness, comfortability. That's what you really want with this. And like I said, all the benefits with any of the negative side effects. It will also complement your TRT program. It will make you feel better. It will help you in a number of different ways. So don't shy away from it, embrace it. And that way you'll get all the results and feel the best you possibly can. Trust me, I've been on this program myself for 12 years and it's done nothing but great effects for me all the way through and through. I look better now than I did when I started the company 12 years ago. That's saying something, right? So if you guys got any other questions about this or you want to talk about different therapies that might help you, you need to contact us today. Just call or text us at 727 389-3220 and I'll be back with more answers to your guys' commonly asked questions so you guys get some great information and great knowledge for yourselves. Does she keep asking you, do these pants make me look fat? Well, maybe it's not the pants, and maybe it's her. Well, you know what you need to do. Have her call or text Tight Medical Center at 727-389-3220 so she can fit in those pants like she's always wanted to. Guys, John here. I'm Sharice. And we're back with another Cupid's Corner. That's right. So, another great episode this Sunday to cover tricks, tips, and things that will hopefully enhance your relationship, make your relationship better, maybe ignite those flames that have been diminished through time, or maybe make your future relationship that you're not in the best one you've had yet. So, uh, every week we come up with some good topics or some good things to talk about that will hopefully help you guys out. Um, you guys can institute and use, utilize these things to maybe make things better. So this one's pretty important here, right? I think this is for everything. But this goes back to like the, the 1880s. Yeah, you know, this is <laughs> especially for relationships, right? And anything that you do. Actions speak louder than words. Mm. It's a true statement. It true. really is. Very and uh, it can be used in any relationship or anything that you do. Uh, meaning that don't just say it do it um, and a lot of people will have these different issues in relationships um, examples right uh, hey honey um, don't leave the toilet seat up right I'm just going off the head I don't know why I said that but John I doesn't never do. ever do that I yeah. never do I always put it down so random I, I get to my guy friends oh honey don't worry I'll never do it again don't worry about it and it, 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 it just in one ear and out the other right it keeps getting left up so at that point like they're not doing any actions to really help that problem. Um, they're just saying it and they're not doing it. So that's another big one, right? Or honey, I'm gonna do this for you. I'm gonna 
go to every yoga like, class. Not even like doing something even. It doesn't even have to be like an actual action, right? It could be, let's just say that you say that, and this is a big one, right? You say that I love you, right? I love you. I care about you. Yeah. I want anything in the world for you, right? But when it comes to, you know, picking something that would be, let's say, more selfish or less selfish, right? Because you're thinking about your significant other because you love them so much, right? Mm -hmm. Or let's just say, um, you know, if you want to show your love and appreciation by making them feel special and doing something that you normally don't do, right? Let's say just getting them unexpected flowers, right? Or bringing them unexpected lunch at, at, at their job, right? Or maybe just something that's unexpected to show them, you're showing them, right, that you love and appreciate them. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, 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 it. Actions do speak louder than words. You could talk all day. Yeah. You know, and this goes, you know, not just in relationships. This goes at work. Yeah. It goes back and forth. It goes friends. You, you can put it in the kids. Yeah. So <laughs> the you, whole night. Here's a good one for work, right? So when we're trying to hire people, you ask them questions. Like, oh, my gosh. Um, you know, are, are you organized? Oh, here we are go. you a go getter? You know, this, you that. I'm a go getter. I, I do everything. I'm the most organized person I'm you've so ever organized. met. I, I can't, I'm I'm my closet looks so good. It's OCD. Yeah, I, I'm this, I'm that, I'm that. But when they get on the job, then it reflects. Because their actions are not going along with what their words said. Right. And you're like, well, your actions are speaking louder than your words because you said you were doing this, you're going to do this, do this, this, this. And you really don't do any of that. Um, so it's just a big one out there. Like, you know, it's like under promise and over deliver. Yeah. That's another big one out there. So at that point, like don't promise the world and only deliver half the world, promise half the world and deliver the whole world. Yes. Right. Um, that's where really, you know, people get more excited about these things and people, they'll look at you different over time. So if you keep saying, well, you build a rapport, right. If you keep telling them you're going to do something, do something, do something and your actions don't reflect then every time that you don't follow through with that action, it kind of lessens your credibility, right? Every really? time they're going to be like, well, are you, are you really, really going to do, do it? it? <laughs> yeah, are you really going to do it? Or are you just saying you're going to do it? Right. Um, you yeah, have that a lot too. You know, it's, uh, it's obviously following through with your word as well. Um, you know, saying you're going to do something, following through with your word, and then doing the action that you're going to say you're going to do. It happens a lot in a lot of different relationships. Um, you know, even we were talking about financials uh, a couple episodes ago and mm -hmm. people say, oh, I'm going to be better financially. We're going to save. We're going to do this. We're going to do that. Yet they Keeps go out and on. they keep buying stuff. The actions do not reflect actions what their words are. Actions speak louder than words. Yeah. You know, so it, it's, it's, it's a tough or, one. Or let's just, let's go down, you know, of course I have to be the, like the worst case scenario. I do this every <laughs> time, right? John, uh, Jimmy and John will always be talking and then, you know, the worst case scenario comes out of my mouth and he's like, what do you think? Where do you come up with this stuff? But like, okay, let's just say, right? Honey, I love you so much. Da, da, da. Then you find out they're cheating on you, right? Ooh. Right. Shame. I know this is this is happens every day now. Right. You find out they're cheating on you. So obviously, I mean, you, I don't care if you love me or not. I mean, if you respected me enough, you wouldn't cheat on me. Right. Mm -hmm. So let's just say you guys mend it. Right. And everything mm -hmm. you mend it somehow get past it. I love you, honey. I love you, honey. I'm never going to do it again. Da, 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 da. Boom, boom, boom. Let's say fast forward even a year, two years. Boom. Cheats again. Actions speak louder than words. Mm -hmm. Now, obviously, I mean, we have a problem here, right? So it's the same exact scenario. I mean, your actions are going to speak louder than words, regardless of what you say. Then you're going to be talking on deaf ears. Yeah. You are. You're going to talk on deaf ears. They're not going to listen to what you're saying. They have. You're not going to be able to get through to people because you're not coming through with what you say you're coming through with, or you're not really meaning what you're saying. Mm -hmm. You're just saying it. Yeah, that's a big one. It really is a you big know? one out there. And, um, you know... Actions can be a lot of different things, right? That could be you listening to your partner. Yeah. Right? You never listen to me, right? And you actively listen to them. And your actions are, they can see you and listening to them pretty much. I mean, people really know if you're listening to them most of the time or not. You're, you know, your attention's towards them. You're looking at them. You know, eye, eye contact, contact is another big one. Um, you're not interrupting them. You're letting them talk and, 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 and get off their chest, whatever it needs to be. And you're listening and, and taking that, right? That's a big one out there that a lot of people um, don't fall through with action-wise. They're not listening to their partner. And that will cause a whole bunch of other problems down the line too. Oh, for sure. Because you're not listening to them. And then if they tell you over and over and over, 
and you don't get it, then they're going to be like, you're not listening to me. This is exactly what I'm talking about. Yeah. You know, and this is an action right there. That's one right off the bat. That's another, like, it's a big one in a lot of relationships out there. For sure. It's a listening faction. Um, you know, basically, like, uh, respecting their opinion. So whatever their opinion is, right? We all know what opinions are, right? Yeah. And so, you know, <laughs> they can have their opinion. You can have your opinion. But this goes back to you taking action and really taking their opinion in. And seeing if you could work or compromise on different things. Don't slaughter their opinion. Don't slaughter their opinion, right? Or they're never going to want to talk to you at that point. Uh, right. Or they're be like, you just don't listen to me. Um, you just hear what I have to say and that's it. You know, I mean, that's that's another big one out there. This is communication. Again, we're going to bring it up again, right? It always you, goes back to that root word. The root word of communication. communication. We should probably just have like a banner in the background yeah. that says communication. Maybe yeah. art can create that for yeah. us. Um, but... You know, I really think it's communicating because even if you have an opinion, right? Because sometimes me and John, we do think very much alike. It's crazy. Yeah. However, we sometimes we we have our separate opinions, and we we just have to agree to disagree. That happens very rarely, but every once in a blue moon, it's like we're gonna agree to disagree. Right. I respect your opinion, you respect my opinion, and here's where we're at. That's right. She but at least my opinion is always right, and that's the way it is. Right. He is right all the time. <laughs> See, you see how that works? And now we're, we're all good. Yeah. We're not fighting about it because you just go along with it. Now, did did I really mean what I say? Who knows? You know what I mean? <laughs> we'll see if her actions reflect and just keep agreeing with me. Oh, yeah, I mean, He's a, right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that make things a lot more smoother, right? Yeah. Um, but, no. <laughs> you know, another one is, like, you know, if you're like, I just want to be happy. And you're like, I'm going to make you happy. And then you don't do anything to change how the current situation is. I, nothing, right? You're like, well, you, you told me you're going to make me happy, but you're still sitting on the couch. You're not taking me any places. You're not listening to my opinions or what issues or problems I'm having. You know, this is another form of just action not taking place. And, you know, at that point, it's just, you know, people, I, I don't know if they just don't want to change or they just don't think it's like, like, or I maybe they, maybe they don't care enough to change yeah. or to put forth the effort because it does take effort. It does take and effort. And when you know effort takes time, and you know it just everything it just kind of chain effects from there. So it's mm -hmm. like you do have to put forth an effort. You might actually have to come up with a thought process to actually do something to make your significant other happy. Yeah. But this is where it comes to you know if you love them enough, you'll listen to what they're saying, listen, process it, and then do something about it. Do something about it. Action, hundred percent. You know those actions. You know they are going to take a little bit of effort. You know um, what? Other, you know, a good, a really good one is is that you know if you because this is very common actually. If you are saying that you're not spending enough quality time with me, right? Mm -hmm. Right. No quality time. We never we never get to hang out alone anymore. We don't ever get to do anything, and you don't do anything to show that you are realizing that you are not having this time. There's no private dinners that you guys are going to go to. There's no movie. There's no nothing you guys are doing together. But yet your significant other keeps telling you, I don't have any time with you alone. Mm -hmm. You know, and you don't you're not changing that. That's a really mm -hmm. common one that mm -hmm. I think. I've had even my girlfriends or even guy friends bring that up where we don't have any alone time anymore. And, you know, I mentioned it and nothing ever changes. It's just the same every single time. Eventually it gets old. Mm -hmm. And you know what? If you're the, the opposite side of the partner, right, and you're asking for these things and your partner is, keeps promising but has no action that they've done and you're getting frustrated, the best thing you could possibly do is talk to them one more time. And then, right, Slap him. Oh. I'm kidding. Well, that might wake him up. But after Way that, up. like, you know, you got to put a, a plan in play of how you're going to resolve this issue. And that's really, what are we going to do? And really sit down with them. If you really care that much and you really want it to work and you want them to follow through with action, set a plan in place for an action plan. I love action plans. He does. Um, and action plans will <laughs> set out and basically say, hey, what's step one, what's step two, what's step three. If you guys got to lay it out like that, that might be a learning thing. And some people might need that. And if you really care and you really want it, then you guys will help and you guys will come together and do that. And then you got to hit those goals, those benchmarks. And if they don't change at that point, after you've already laid it out, got to move on. Then you got to look at other things that you're going to do. Got to move on. It obviously is not going to work. And then you're just going to be. Uh, 
you know, being insane. It's the definition of insanity. You're going to be doing the exact same thing over and over and over. And expecting and a different result. That's right. And there's not going to be a different <laughs> result. So you're driving yourself insane. And nobody wants to be insane. You right? know, listen, honestly, you could be like me. I'm very straightforward. So when I want something, I tell John, like, hey, listen, the other day I was like, we never get to go to the movies anymore. I want to go to the movies. Okay, fine. Let's go. You know, it's it's sometimes it could be if you believe it or not, it can actually be as simple as that. If you want something, just ask. Sometimes you'd be surprised. You That's might right. just get it like this. That's right. You know, a lot of you guys might even want one of these. You know, I I've, I've seen this on 90 Day. That well, everybody wants one on 90 Day, right? They're trying to come over. <laughs> <laughs> I love that show. But um, you know, maybe you want to be proposed to, right? Yeah. Say it. Like yeah. if you sometimes in plain English, if you just say it. Sometimes they just, they get it. Sometimes you don't, you, you know, a lot of times you'll just beat around the bush and be like, well, you know, we don't spend time together. Or, uh, you know, we've been together a long time. But like, okay, well, here's a box of chocolates. You know, like, no, it's not, not, I didn't want a box of chocolates. I wanted a diamond. You know, this is, not, this is what I wanted. So I'm using this as an example because you might really want something and you keep beating around the bush and beating around the bush and beating around the bush. I'm a very straightforward person. Sometimes it's good. Sometimes it's bad. It is what it is. But at least I'm very straightforward with him. And if I want something, I'm like, hey, this is what I want. Can we make it happen? Please. <laughs> so, to some degree. I mean, it's just a little breakdown for you guys. And yeah. it's, it's a really easy and simple thing to accomplish. Um, do what you say you're going to do. Yeah. Follow Create through. Create action and follow through with whatever you say you're going to do. So don't let words overpower your actions let actions overpower your words don't just talk about it be about it right yeah. under promise over deliver <laughs> in anything you do and you'll always come out on top how many guys. quotes can we pull from this episode this is a good one a ton, a ton. <laughs> that's right those are good ones too. yes that's we're right. clipping this we're that's putting right. this on all social media platforms I might make big banners and put them through the titan offices <laughs> That's what it's all about. And that can happen in business too, right? It happens you all the time. You say you're going to complete a task. You don't do it. I'm going to do better tomorrow. I you promise. Know? I'm going to pick up the phone by the first ring. Yeah, you don't do you're it. You're just not, still not picking up the phone by the first ring. Action you just keep looking at the phone when it rings. I want to do so good at my job, but I don't do what I'm supposed to do at my job. Please give me a raise. What is this? <laughs> Come on, guys. Be better. Do better. All right? Yeah, and you'll get better. That's right. That's that's a beautiful thing right there. So, guys, this is another Cupid's Corner from me and Cherise. We're here for you guys every Sunday at 11 a.m. on ABC. If you guys don't DVR it or you missed it, don't worry. We got you guys. Go to YouTube. Check out Tight Medical Center. Hit the subscribe button and all notification bell. You can watch all our episodes. Plus, if you guys don't want to see us, but you guys want to listen to us, maybe you're driving, maybe you're working out, go to wherever podcasts are available. You can download our podcast too as well. You guys will be able to listen to us on the road, training, whatever it is. Also, our social medias, Facebook, Instagram. You guys are going to love some of the content on there. I promise you. So go check that out. Hit the subscribe button or the follow button or the like button on all those different social media platforms so you can be in tune to what's going on with us, Cupid's Corner, and all of Tight Medical Center. So I appreciate it. I'm John. I'm Sharice. We'll see you guys next week for another Cupid's Corner. See ya. Bye, guys.